know if you guys have seen what's up guys David Blaine's book Mysterious Stranger it's good I was reading a little bit of it lately because David Blaine's special just came out which is pretty amazing most people would have seen if you haven't just YouTube it is on YouTube and uh, it does look very very cool so I thought I'd uh, share a little bit of advice tonight we just finished dinner some of the Pro Magic Live team and I again and just discussing some of the tricks that you guys will be seeing in Pro Magic Live and a few things that we're going to be adding to this training center. And one of the ideas tonight was about brainstorming. And that's what we were doing over Indian food, which is pretty good, wasn't it? Um, we were we were just discussing different things and I'll be honest, I'm not the kind of person that is very good at brainstorming by myself. Okay, I can come up with ideas, but it's amazing when you brainstorm with uh, someone who likes magic as much as you do and you're working on the same project that you, you start bouncing ideas off each other. And why brainstorming is so important in with magic is, especially when you're coming up with tricks, when you're coming up with routines, when you're coming up with your show, you want to be able to bounce ideas back off each other, off your friend, off your um, a bunch of different guys, and really hone something from your ideas from their ideas and it starts to mold it starts to, to mold and, and come together and the reason why it's better um, with with more than one person is because when you think of something you've got nothing to you've got no one to bounce it off with like let's say you're wanting to do this idea where you want to make a coin disappear and appear inside of a, a computer screen for example you go mm, okay that's not really cool because it's yeah, how am I going to load it in? But someone might say, well, hang on a second. Why don't, instead of using a coin, why don't you make it a USB? Because that's a little bit more relatable. And things like that is what you need. And that's what we were doing tonight. We came, we came up, we're not going to reveal what we came up with, right? No, it's pretty pretty cool. It's got, I'll tell them a little, no, okay. But it's, it's very, very cool. Something very commercial that we came up with tonight. And basically the idea was this. I was like, I want to do this. And then some of the guys were like, have you thought of this? This is what's out on the market at the moment. I'm like, but have have someone done this? And they're like, no. Then we played with the object and played around with it and thought of ideas with it. And what we did is we brainstormed things we've done in the past with magic tricks, but put that in with this new thing that we're doing, which I can't tell you. So brainstorming is super important and it's something that you need to do. And I know a lot of people out there might not have many people to brainstorm with. You might be doing magic on your own, but that's the power of the internet. Talk on forums, talk on Google+, talk on Skype, talk on Facebook. Start bouncing ideas off each other, and it's amazing. And I am, once again, like, I'm very honest with you guys, I'm the first one to say I need to take more of my own advice from scripting to um, now so brainstorming, because tonight, in the last maybe probably four hours over dinner as well, We've, I've come up with a bunch of really amazing uh, new ideas and, and tricks and one something that's gold that um, the guy behind the camera doesn't want me to say because it is pretty damn cool that I um, yeah that we did just by sitting and talking and discussing and laughing and thinking ideas and then going back and forth and sitting and then having some naan bread and going what about you know, brainstorming your own effects that you use to perform, like brainstorming different presentations and stuff. Yeah, so, um, like, do you mean, like, you know, coming up coming up with a presentation? Yeah, different, or? like, you got two different presentations. Oh, okay, so, you know, for, yeah, yeah, okay, so, for example, here's a, something that I've done recently. Um, my personal style is, if you don't know yet, I like magic that's a little bit relatable, a little bit trendy, 2013, so, let's say, for example, um, instead of using uh, doing something mind reading, let's say, instead of writing down um, something on a, on, a, on, a, on a piece of paper, you'd probably use your iPhone. So brainstorming little things that might help make your performance and your presentation a little bit smoother, that's going to work for you. Sort of things like that. And that's what, as I said, working with someone and giving them your idea and then just going in so many different directions. You know, creativity, you know, like some people, the way they brainstorm is they start at the top and then they work backwards. Some people start with something and then work forwards. Um, you know, people like Daniel Garcia and Jay Sankey have their own ways of, you know, coming up with things, but that's another subject. So to wrap this up, it's it brainstorming. Very important. Do as much as you can. I need to do more, and I've seen the impact 
just in the last four hours. So I'm looking forward to doing another session and coming up with something else that's also gold that we'll uh, share very soon. Keep checking out Pro Magic Live, which I can't see or show you. Beautiful pictures, though. Yeah. Peace.